Hello modelers. I did a video previously about uh, Bachman Easy Track and how to make it look a little better because it comes with a lot of model railroads and you want to be able to use it rather than just throwing it away or peeling the track out. Well, I've acquired over the years and I didn't even realize till about two weeks ago how much of this uh, stuff I've got. It's the um, Atlas uh, True Track, and I have got <laughs> with switches and everything I've got about 260 feet of this stuff had no idea I had that much and about 70% of it is still in new packaging it's stuff I've acquired over probably 10 years um, I'm not positive on that but something like that anyways what I'm gonna do just like I did in it with the uh, easy track I'm gonna take some of this I'm gonna try a couple different options one, I'm going to paint it with this Rust-Oleum textured paint. I, I just found this stuff online one day, or I mean at the store. This stuff works great um, on some like outdoor things, so I'm going to try it on here. And then again, the gravel paint like I used on the um, Bachman Easy Track, the testers. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a scuddy piece of... Uh, uh, foam and I'm going to spray paint some of these. I will probably show a few of them on a third piece What I'm going to do is I'm going to take and I'm going to uh, paint this thing with uh, white glue and ballast it the traditional way N being careful not to get uh, Glue inside the flat spots where the track goes down into I'm going to see how easy that is and we'll see what they look like. I'll try all three um, It'll probably take me about a a day to do all this because uh, you have to let things dry paint dry and everything but you'll see it all as one video so let's see what happens okay it's been uh, since the net last night when I did some uh, painting of these pieces of track or I guess I would say the uh, supplied roadbed that comes with the track here's again one of the pieces an extra one so you can kind of see what I'm talking about this is the Atlas true track and the track pops out of this. Actually, this track pops out a lot easier than the stuff does on the e Bachman Easy Track. But it all works good, and it all comes out nice, and it snaps right back in, and providing you don't break the little tabs. Anyways, um, here's how it came out. I'm going to zoom in, and I'm going to show you what I found. Here is, of course, this is the stock plain one right here. Nothing... It, there's not really much you can to see now. I will say this so you can hear that touching it It's very coarse to look like to look like and feel like gravel But it's just it's one solid color, which is fine. Some for some people. That's probably no problem um, But a lot of people like a little texture now. Here's the, uh, the uh, Rust-Oleum paint You can kind of see this it's uh, here. I'm gonna zoom in. I'll get a little grainy but you can see the multicolor little tiny fine specks I think this stuff looks great um, it's I like that it's kind of a blend it's a tan blend and I think it looks really nice um, but the only thing about it is you really do have to be close so you can see how much I had to zoom in just to be able to show you the texture of it and of course it sprayed on following the texture of the roadbed itself then the next one is the gravel gray from testers. I'm going to zoom that out because that's plenty coarse. And that stuff I think is really nice too. This is my favorite. Um, it's grainy, gravelly looking, and it comes in grays or tans. I think there's even, you can get dark charcoal uh, to simulate like a coal type um, train area you know where there's a lot of coal and things like that but i think this looks really really nice and then of course there's a traditional ballasted piece and that does look good i didn't push a track down as much as i could and i will tell you this though painting this with the white glue you have to be careful like i mentioned previously not to get the paint down inside so i would say that something a person could do if they really wanted to is paint it or maybe take an old piece of track and shove it in there just for until you're done painting it then sprinkle the stuff on when you're done and then you just literally 
you kind of waste a lot of it uh, pouring it on. Then when you're done, you dump it off or vacuum it off, whatever it is. But that stuff, I think, looks really, really nice too. It's kind of a wash. It's, you know, which, whichever way you like to do this, if you're going to do it at all. Some people, this would be ridiculous. They'll think this is crazy to use this kind of stuff. But I do plan to use some of this myself on my uh, new layout in the back areas where I can't reach very well. And I'm probably going to go with the uh, tester's version of the gray. That's my tentative plans. and Or possibly maybe even the uh, Rust-Oleum. I'm not sure. The ballast I like. But I think if I was going to take the time to ballast this and go all the way into the back corner, then I might as well just do it the traditional way. Because I I, um, it, it's not a whole lot easier uh, than doing it the regular way. The only thing that I would say is it's not as messy. You don't spill all the uh, ballast all over the place. And the other thing I will note, as you can see, on this particular piece, I didn't push this track down. This is actually just sitting in there. It does go down deeper. You can see in this one here, I'm going to zoom that in, that it, it does go, it, it sits down into the roadbed a lot deeper than it looks, than that first one. So, but this stuff work, looks nice and it works good. Um, one thing I've always kind of done myself, I'm going to try and zoom this in. Right here where the tracks connect, I have kind of a problem with these little connect end uh, pieces on the track. I usually take those and cut them out. And then I just take a couple extra ties and I would glue them into the slots. So you don't have that little goofy, in my opinion, that little square piece right there. The outer I don't mind so much, but this square piece, I'm not really a fan of that. So, but that's just me. So, you know, look at it and see what you think. Um, I'm going to put a picture uh, of each piece of track from plain to the tan to the uh, gravel gray and the ballasted piece. I'm going to put a pictures at the end of this video showing, um, sitting on a little mocked up little diorama, a tiny, tiny one, one track with one car sitting on it. Gives you an idea what it looks like in a layout. So I'm just kind of see what you think and kind of let me know your thoughts of it. Um, I do think this stuff is worth using. I would never just throw things like this away. A lot of guys will just take the track out and throw the uh, roadbed portion of it away. I think it's worth using. So that's just my opinion. I know a lot of people would think uh, differently of that. So, but uh, yeah, just check it out. And I, I, like I said before, I might put a couple little clips at the very end of this of showing me spray painting it as well, possibly. We'll see. Thanks for watching.